I'm hungry. What you got? We're gonna be having some steak tacos. Vegetarian steak tacos. They look delicious. Good. They're not really vegetarian. Yeah, the cow only ate grass. It's totally vegetarian. Ah. The cow was vegetarian. No offense to vegetarians. We love vegetarians. We think they're fantastic. Um, yeah, that was a long day. I'm super excited for this delicious steak, taco, and some refried beans. And the mashed. Mashed beans. So good. Engine room is torn apart. Kids are in here tearing other stuff apart. Hey guys, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Digging. Digging? Yeah. yeah. Digging for saber slasher. Diver. Dive saber. Mine's the dive boat. How about dive saber? Dive saber. You guys having fun on the boat? Yeah. Awesome. That's the first day. Day one down. Day one in the books. Day tomorrow is going to be lots more work. Never goes good going back together. <laughs> okay, so this is the project at hand. On our Catalina trip, we kept running into this issue where the the transmission wouldn't engage. You'd give it gas and it would just spin. And after some research, we found out that what we think is happening is these little, these are clutch cones. This has basically, it engages onto the top of an inner cone to go forward and then in reverse does the same. These grooves get worn down and eventually they wear out. So they have to be replaced or they have to be roughed up or something. Well, we're just gonna replace them. So I ordered these from Just Catamarans and I'm gonna tear this thing apart. And we're gonna try to replace the clutch cone. What's your time frame on this project, you think? You see, it's 10 o'clock right now exactly. I think it'll take, I think it'll take a day. I think it will take me all day today. I have no idea. I'm, if I get it back together, this back together today, I'll be happy with that. If I get it all back together today, I'll be incredibly happy, so. That means you can have a day of sailing. That means we should go sailing tomorrow. So we're really gonna work hard to get it down today. And go. Okay, so we've got the top taken apart. So let's take this thing off. All right. So this is the inside of the gearbox. You can see that cone in there. I have no idea how this stuff is supposed to come out, so I'm gonna be super careful. I think I'm gonna take a few pictures. Take a few pictures of this first before I take it all apart. One casualty. So far. So far. So I've gotta figure out if I can pull this thing. It doesn't seem like it's gonna flip to get under there with the puller. Okay, what have we done? I took it apart and I put it back together. And now I'm taking it apart again. Because you learned a trick? Because you have to do everything twice when you're doing something on the boat. This, I found out this thing right here. I was couldn't figure out how to get it off because it was like deep sunk inside of here. Mm. I'm like, that's impossible. Yeah. But this just comes off which seems super obvious. So now I've got to get this off. Mom, I know what we have to do after this right here. round of... So this is a pen that you just take off. I mean, uh, Volkswagen size stuff. Good? Got the one and a quarter. Hey, nice. Oh, called it. I'm practically a mechanic. Okay, so it's 2 40. It was 10 o'clock. So we're into this how long? A long time. Four hours. Mm -hmm. About two hours of that was running around town. We had to buy an impact wrench or impact drill. I had the right socket. We tried everything we could, even the big breaker bar. We kept lifting Kitty off the ground with it. I bought this angle iron. I cut two holes in it. I bolted it up to the output shaft of the transmission and with the help of this this sucker by the way this is a left-handed nut 
so that's fun. So that comes off left-handed, which means basically lefty tidy, which is weird. And then we got it off. So now this is going to come off. I hope. So success. Oh, look at that. That was easy. Look at that. Popped right off. Oh wow, that was easy. That's the output shaft. So we've done this once already. We're just going to take this bell off. shaft Get over there and yeah and this is gonna pop right out and that's what we're replacing right there that's the cone clutch we're replacing it with this new one bearings okay super interesting stuff here I know that the internet's really dying to hear this um, this is the cone clutch and we took forever trying to figure out how to get this apart we at first tried to use the pullers the pulley pullers and pull these off but that won't work and what there are pins you can't see them they're between this brass clutch and this collar and they're underneath there. You can't even see them. To get to them, you have to push this here, bang it a little bit to get, a, you can get about a quarter of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch of this to the, this, see this sleeve right here? It will move maybe an eighth or a quarter of an inch this way. And then you'll be able to get to that pin and pull it out with some of these. And you'll, it's like, I would buy the new pin. If you can get the new pin, I would buy the new pin because you're probably going to wreck it getting it out. But we got that. Once you get that pin out, then you can use your pullers and pull these pull these sleeves off. You can kind of see the pin. I don't think the camera's really going to see the pin. You can kind of see it right there. Can you see it in the camera? It's probably just blurry. I can't see anything different between the new one and the old one. They both look the same. I mean, they don't look smooth or rough. I don't know. Dink on the inside part, but yeah, I think there's a good chance to put this back together, it works great, but there's probably a good chance we put it back together and it doesn't work at all. And the instructions are not very easy to find on the internet, so if you're trying to find instructions for this, like good luck, you should send them to me because I have not found the instructions on how to do this. The manual, I found a manual for a different transmission, I'll link to it in the comments, uh, but it, it's, it's, it's pretty helpful, it's actually pretty close. Okay, it's been we started at 10, it's 6 o'clock. <clears throat> took a long time to, to rebuild the transmission, but the transmission is rebuilt. <laughs> you see it right there. It is ready to go back in. Are we recording? Okay, good. It's 8 o'clock, 7.57. We started at 10 o'clock, right? 10 o'clock. So, it's all done. Let's see what happens. We're gonna start it up. We should be able to put it in gear. It doesn't seem like a big achievement. Still kind of pops. See that? Correct. Success. Yo, what? Little guy out there in his dinghy. It's a beautiful night. <laughs>